Nabatier has been battered. The night before we arrived here, the bombs were falling again, less than 10 miles away. There is a lot of firing in this ceasefire. And people are worried the respite which allowed them to return here will not last long. We heard missiles, strikes, uh, airplanes. Uh, we think that war uh, go on. But there is also a stoicism here, bordering on nonchalance. People are hard at work, putting their homes, businesses and lives back together. Others are taking a well-deserved break. Jalal Nasser proudly reopened his coffee and shisha bar the very first day of the ceasefire. Uh, they got this all down in five minutes. And he's more optimistic about the prospect of eventual peace. I think it will hold. Only this, you know, always like this. When they stop, it takes like one month. Some bomb, some in the border, like this. Always. I know, I'm 50 years old. I know from 1982, from Israel, come here. I was eight years old, I know. Jalal thinks it'll take a week for his coffee shop to be fully back up to speed. The glass has already been ordered. Despite the uncertainty around the ceasefire, people here are pretty adamant. It feels different. They don't want to leave again. They want to stay here, rebuild all of this. So there is nonchalance, but there is also hardcore defiance. This is a Hezbollah flag, the group designated as a terrorist organization by the UK, the US, Israel and others. It says killing us makes us stronger and they were killed. Up into the hills above Nabatia, almost an entire neighborhood has been leveled. This family has come to inspect their house. Their father was a Hezbollah leader killed in an airstrike. And we are invited to meet a woman whose son, another Hezbollah militant, was killed only 10 days ago. Her other son died in the 2006 Israel-Hezbollah war. When our children are martyred, we know where they are going. Our children are heroes. I want all the world to know that we are not terrorists. We are the owners of this land. We fight with belief and loyalty. The people of Nabatier do not want that fight. They want to fix what has been destroyed. But peace still hangs in the balance. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, in Nabatier, southern Lebanon.